A young man in his mid 20s knock on the door of a renowned guru. He says, "I've come to you because I wish to study Vedas. Do you know Sanskrit?" The guru asks. "No," replies the young man. "Have you studied any Indian philosophy?" "No, but don't worry. I just finished my doctoral dissertation at Harvard on logic." So now I would just like to round out my education with a little study of the Vedas. I doubt the guru says that you are ready to study Vedas. It is the deepest knowledge ever known. If you wish, however, I am willing to examine you in the logic and if you pass that test, I will teach you Vedas. The young man agrees. Guru holds up two fingers. two men came down a chimney one comes out with a clean face the other comes out with a dirty face which one washes his face the young man stares at the guru is that really a test in logic the guru nods yes the one with the dirty face washes his face he answers confidently wrong the one with a clean face washes his face examine the logic the one with a dirty face looks at the one with a clean face and thinks his face is clean the one with a clean face looks at the one with a dirty face and thinks his face is dirty so the one with a clean face washes his face very clever the young man says give me another test The guru again holds up two fingers. Two men came down a chimney. One comes out with a clean face, the other comes out with a dirty face. Which one washes his face? We have already established that the one with a clean face washes his face. Wrong. Each one washes his face. Examine the logic. The one with a dirty face looks at the one with a clean face and thinks his face is clean. The one with a clean face looks at the one with a dirty face and thinks his face is dirty. So the one with a clean face washes his face. When the one with a dirty face sees the one with a clean face washes his face. He also washes his face. so each one washes their own faces i don't think that is the correct answer says the young man it's shocking to me that i could make an error in logic test me again okay says the guru the guru holds up two fingers two men came down a chimney one comes out with a clean face the other comes out with a dirty face which one washes his face each one washes his face up comes the answer wrong neither one washes his face examine the logic now the one with the dirty face looks at the one with a clean face and thinks his face is clean the one with a clean face looks at the one with a dirty face and thinks his face is dirty but when the one with a clean face sees the one with a dirty face doesn't wash his face He also doesn't wash his face so neither one washes their face the young man is desperate i'm qualified to study vedas please give me one more test please he groans he, sh- he makes a lot of noises pleads and bows down and says last chance guru last chance guru lifts his two fingers again two men came down a chimney one comes out with a clean face the other comes out with a dirty face which one washes his face neither one washes his face <laughs> that's easy wrong do you now see why logic is an insufficient basis for studying with us tell me how is it possible for two men to come down the same chimney and for one to come out with a clean face and the other with a dirty face don't you see The whole question is nonsense, foolishness, and if you spend your whole life trying to answer foolish questions, all your answers will be foolish too.
may we all have the wisdom to ask and answer the wise questions the wisdom beyond